Today I'm going to be going over how to track if somebody sends you an email. So if you're using a mail to email link and you can see I have one up at the top here on my website. If we scroll down, I have a button here that has a mail to link on it. And then at the very bottom of my page, I also have one as well. So anytime you have a contact page or you have your contact information listed like this, I would highly recommend putting the actual email itself rather than doing the button the way that I did it here. So just basically put, you know, the email logo info at, and you could just do the same thing I did email and put your email address. Then people can actually see it. And it's a little bit harder to track whether or not they actually send that email to you. But there are things that you can do as far as the button click that make it a little bit easier to track if that does come directly from the button click itself. So I'll go over that throughout the video. So the very first thing that you need to do when you're getting started with this is make sure you have a clickable email link. So the way to do that is, and I have Elementor opened here. So you could do this directly through WordPress, directly on any website platform that you're using. The main thing is your link here. So you can see my link, it's a mail to, and then a colon and then you put your email here so this could be all the link is and then it will send an email it'll basically open up when somebody clicks on this link it'll open up their email platform and it'll start an email directly to your email now what you can do to kind of take this a step further is if we come over here you can do a question mark subject equals and then just basically do whatever subject line you want to the way to do a space between every word is percentage 20. So you could do a subject line and you can do the actual body of the email. So we have mail to info at Aquabliss Care. Subject is interested in, you can see the little in right there, in swimming pool services. And then we do the ampersand sign, so an end symbol. And then we do body and the same thing equals. Please let me know more information. So basically this would open up an email where if somebody clicks this button, they will start writing this exact email directly to your business. And generally a lot of people are not going to change the subject line. So what I would highly recommend doing is creating a subject line that you know immediately somebody's going to see it and say, you'll see it at your company and you'll say, okay, this came from an email click and it's not somebody just reaching out to us directly. So somebody actually clicking on one of our buttons. So doesn't necessarily say that it's from Google ads or anything like that. And one of the issues you may run into is somebody clicking on this button and never sending the email. It's the same thing with text messages at times, even for mobile phone calls, people have to click and then click again to actually call you. So basically what we're tracking is the initial click on this button here. So the way to do that, and I have a WordPress website, the way to do that is by installing Google tag manager first and foremost. And the way that we do that is after you create your Google tag manager account, they will usually prompt you this this, but if not, go to the admin tab here and then install Google Tag Manager and install, if you're using WordPress, the WP Code plugin. So the WP Code plugin will allow you to insert a header and a body tag. So you'll see header and footer here. When you do install that plugin, go to code snippets, click on header and footer. It is still the WP code plugin. There is a code snippets plugin. That one also does the same thing, but I've just always used WP code without any issues. So header and footer here, and we can put this one in the head section and this one underneath the opening body tag. Click on save changes, and then over here in Google Tag Manager, you will be all have this installed on your website. You can submit your container, but you don't need to do that at this point. So what we need to do next is we need to actually create the conversion action in Google ads so we can actually track this as a conversion. So we want to track every time somebody clicks on this button or clicks on any of our email links and specifically links that say mail to in them. So the way to do an email link, you can see at the very bottom of the page down here is mail to colon info at aquablisscare.com, obviously replace with your email. I want to take a quick break from my video tutorial to tell you about my two free training videos. My first is my one, two, three, four, five Google ads training that will give you a process to be successful with Google ads. Go to surfsideppc.com slash training to get access to that. The other one is going to be my from zero to five K per month roadmap. This is going to be an inbound marketing training. That's going to teach you how to drive more leads and grow your business. So you go to surfsideinbound.com and you can access that one. Let's get back to our tutorial. So we come back over here to Google ads and let's start by creating our conversion goal. So we're going to come over here to goals and we're going to go to conversion summary and we're going to click on to create a new conversion action. It's going to be a website conversion. We can enter our domain name here. So we'll just do aquablisscare.com, do a quick scan. It's going to say we are using Google analytics, but we are just going to be using, creating this conversion action manually in Google tag manager. So 
Goal and action optimization. Generally, something like this is going to be a lead category, and I would just do it as a contact. The conversion action optimization would be a primary action used for bidding optimization. Conversion name, so we'll just say email clicks example. We can use the same value for every conversion. Just set this to one. For count, you just want to select one. So if somebody clicks on this button 10 times, you just want to count it as one conversion because it's one lead. You don't want to count multiple conversions here. Click through conversion window. Generally, this is going to be a shorter one because most people aren't going to click an ad and go back to your website and click on an email button after a few months. But I always extend it because I'd rather get more of this data than less. Attribution will be data driven. We have enhanced conversions turned on and we can click on done here. And now we have our new conversion goal created. So we're going to click on save and continue. And now we need to get our instructions and finish. So we're going to be using Google Tag Manager here. If you scroll all the way to the bottom where you see next steps, the first thing it's going to tell you to do is add a conversion link or tag and configure it to fire on all of your pages. So if we come over here, click on the tags here and you can see I already have mine created, but click on new tag configuration, Google ads, conversion linker, name your tag, set it to trigger on every single page. So all pages here, click on save and it's that easy to add the conversion linker. It's available through the Google ads tags here. So we'll click on the X here, discard changes, and this is what yours should look like. Conversion linker, you can name it whatever you want. Tag type, triggering, and that's it. So next is going to be tracking the actual email button itself. So I just went over how to track a button and what I tracked on the, and that will be on my channel, but what I tracked was just a button on my website where somebody can come in and they can click on a button. This would work the same exact way. So it's pretty much the same exact setup, but for an email link, I generally try to do it a little bit different. Come to the tag screen over here and we're going to click on new and we're going to go to tag configuration, Google ads and Google ads conversion tracking again. And now what we want to do is set our conversion ID conversion label. So we'll come over to Google ads, take our conversion ID here, copy it come back over to tag manager and paste our conversion ID back over to Google ads, copy this conversion label. So you'll see conversion ID and conversion label are the two that you need to do. And over here in tag manager, do the conversion label. Now we'll name this tag. We'll say email clicks example. Okay. And then we need to set a trigger. So when this is actually going to track as a conversion, you can see, I already have this set up actually. So mail to just links when the click URL contains mail to now really quickly, just to make sure I go over this. So I'm just going to set this like this for now, but under variables, you want to make sure you set your variables. So click on configure and make sure you do all of these different click and form variables. You shouldn't need the forms for this, but you might need them for future ones, but you can see all of our click ones here. Click on the X, come over here to tags and let's open up our okay so our email clicks example tag and now we need to set our trigger correctly so click on the get rid of that one click the new trigger click on the plus sign up here at the top configuration click you could do all elements or just links i like using just links and doing some link clicks when the click url contains mail to so that's all you need to do here and we can name it okay so name it on save and now we have our Google ads conversion tracking, our conversion ID and label and our trigger over here. We can click on save. Okay. And now we just need to submit this and we'll just version. Okay. So now that will track any of those clicks on our website everywhere that they are. So if somebody comes to our website and they end up seeing this at the very top, they click on it, then that will count as a conversion. If somebody clicks on one of these buttons, it'll count as a conversion on all over on the entire website. So we have this tag set up. The very last thing that we want to do is we want to actually preview this tag and make sure it is working properly. So let's take our pool on a replacement page, click on preview, enter that URL, and then we connect to the Google tag assistant. It's going to open up that page using the Google. So you can see this is not fired yet. So if we click on continue here, go to tags that did not fire. And our one here is email clicks example. I actually have this set up twice. So Google ads conversion email and then email clicks example. So when we click on it, both of these should track. So if you're not seeing it track, then you have to reconfigure your trigger, but we're going to click here at the top. We'll click on it. And we'll come back over here and you're going to see, okay, we have our email clicks example. Our Google ads conversion email has now been a fired tag. And when you see here, when you click, 
you could see some of these. So in this link click is when these tags actually fired. If you go into the variables, you can actually see all the variables that tag when we click on that link. So the click text you could see is info at Aquabliss Care. Click URL you could see right here. So you could use either of those to actually track this. I prefer to use click URL, but if you are just linking your email everywhere across your website, you can also use click text. And that's another one that you can track the same exact way. But now we have this tracking. We know that it's working properly. Even if we come down here, so you'll see we have like seven, eight link click, eight outbound clicks. Let's click on this one here. So we click on it. Okay, so now that should load again. And there you go, click, link, click, outbound clicks, 9, 10, 11. So it'll keep tracking every time we click on this. And obviously the way we have it set up through Google Ads is it'll only track that one conversion even if somebody clicks on the button you know, 500 times. But over here through your campaigns, the last thing that you wanna do is make sure that within your campaign settings, so you come over here to the settings of your, your campaign, go to your conversion goals here and just make sure that you are optimizing for that email clicks example tag that we have here. So you'll see this working here. Email new was another example that I did, but now we have the email tracking. So if somebody comes to our website, clicks on this to send us an email, we can actually track that button click as a conversion. So if you have any questions about any of this, please leave in the comment section. Thanks for watching my video today and make sure you subscribe to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel. Thank you for watching. If you want access to all of my long form tutorials and some of my courses that I've created that I'm only putting out on Surfside Inbound, you can join my Patreon, patreon.com slash Surfside Inbound. It is only $4.99 per month. You can also join through my YouTube channel. So through the Surfside PPC YouTube channel, from any of my videos, if you click on join, you will get instant access to all of my premium content, including my inbound marketing course, which is five and a half hours long. I just published it to Patreon and YouTube. So join today if you're interested in more of my content at patreon.com slash Surfside Inbound or by clicking the join button on any of my YouTube videos. Thanks for watching my channel and don't forget to subscribe.